Hi everyone. Uh, today's episode, we are going to talk about something called pedal lock. So, if you're a musician and you uh, play guitar or bass, you probably have a pedal board. So, this is one of my pedal boards. I have a couple of them, um, and they're they're both filled with pedals. So, um, anybody who's played with any kind of pedals for any time knows about Boss pedals. So Boss makes a lot of really great pedals. I have about nine or ten Boss pedals. Uh, they're probably my favorite brand. Um, they're not the most boutique brand, but they're solidly consistent, reliable, excellent pedal, very well made. So sometimes people putting their pedals in the pedal board, you want to use Velcro on the back. This particular pedal board is a Temple pedal board. The pedals attach via um, a, uh, a metal plate that goes on the back of the pedal and gets screwed in with these little screws in the back. So a little variation on the, the Velcro theme. Either way, um, Boss pedals sometimes are difficult to put on a pedal board because they've got um, a rubber surface on the back and it can kind of get in the way of putting velcro on the back so this company here pedal lock i've been using their products for a number of years what they do is they make a uh, plastic tray that the boss pedals can sit into and so you see i've got all my boss pedal boards on this all my boss pedals on this pedal board are all in a pedal lock tray. So uh, I really like the pedal lock a lot. Every time I get a boss pedal, I get a pedal board, a pedal lock for it. Um, they're very well made. They're made of plastic, but very strong, high grade plastic. They have uh, some slots for screws. You can screw them on to wood. Very good flat back. It takes Velcro really well. But I do do a modification to my pedal lock uh, pedal holders. So if you'll notice on this boss pedal here, this boss pedal is using a pedal lock and you can see that there's a, a lip, a black plastic lip that comes over and hooks it on here. and. On the, on the bottom, there's also a black plastic lip, and that holds the pedal in really tight. If I were to take the pedal lock and flip it upside down, the pedal wouldn't fall out. But what I do is I take a Dremel and I grind off this top lip, and I make it flat like this. I grind off that entire lip, and you can see I've done it on these two up here. Now the reason I do that is the boss pedal, when you put it in the pedal lock, as long as you're not turning the pedal upside down, you don't need that lip. So the pedal fits in and it, it locks in place. It's not going anywhere. Um, as long as you keep your pedal board flat, that boss pedal is not going anywhere. So especially when you attach the power to it. So you see that these have the power attached to it, plus the cables here. That, that, pedal, that pedal's not really coming out. It's in there pretty good. So I don't use my pedal board. I don't put it in um, a carrying bag where the pedal board um, comes up or is vertical. In that case, the pedal would fall out. Uh, anytime I take a pedal board to a gig, I always keep the pedal board flat. I always keep it flat. So I find that removing this lip makes it a lot easier to put pedals into the pedal lock. And it also doesn't scratch up the top of the pedals as much. So some of these Boss pedals, especially if you notice the tuner here, have a raised plastic area. And here, it's kind of a raised metal area. 
and I just want to keep my pedals in good condition. So this lip here comes down and impedes the, uh, the plastic or the metal. So on cases where I have a pedal like that, I cut the lip off the top. So this one here, there's nothing to uh, impede the plastic lip, so I just left it for that one. But for the most part, with my pedals, um, with my boss pedals, I'll cut the top off the pedal lock. So just to give you an idea, uh, this is a JHS Lucky Cat. It's a little bit similar in size to a boss pedal. It's not going to fit, however. Um, so pedal locks, they're, they're made for a few different pedals, but if you buy the ones that are specifically for boss pedals, then they'll only fit boss pedals. And uh, that's all I got.